Hi, Dr. Eric. What happens within stomach lining when consumed too much alcohol? Thanks. Hello, Alice. Excessive alcohol consumption significantly impacts the stomach lining through a series of acute and chronic mechanisms. Let me divide this into eight major points. One, direct chemical irritation, mucosal barrier. Disruption, alcohol, ethanol, acts as a solvent, breaking down the stomach's protective mucus layer. This exposes the epithelial cells to stomach acid and digestive enzymes, leading to direct damage. Cell membrane damage. Ethanol and its toxic metabolite, acetaldehyde, disrupt cell membranes, causing cell death, necrosis, or erosion of the epithelial lining. 2. Increased gastric acid secretion. Alcohol stimulates the release of gastrin, a hormone that boosts acid production by parietal cells. Elevated acid levels exacerbate mucosal injury, particularly when the protective mucus is compromised. 3. Inflammation, gastritis, acute gastritis. A single heavy drinking episode can cause acute inflammation, leading to symptoms like pain, nausea, and vomiting. Chronic gastritis, repeated alcohol exposure results in persistent inflammation, thinning the stomach lining, atrophy, and impairing its function. Fourth, ulcer formation. Prolonged erosion and acid exposure can lead to peptic ulcers, open sores in the lining. These may bleed, causing hematemesis, vomiting blood, or melina, black stools. Severe cases risk perforation. Five, impaired healing and regeneration. Alcohol interferes with cell turnover and repair mechanisms, slowing recovery of the mucosal layer. Chronic use may lead to metaplasia, abnormal cell changes, a precancerous condition. 6. Oxidative stress and toxicity. Metabolism of ethanol generates free radicals, causing oxidative stress that damages DNA and proteins. Acetaldehyde further contributes to cellular toxicity and carcinogenesis. 7. Synergistic risks. H. pylori infection. Alcohol exacerbates damage caused by this ulcer-associated bacterium. NSAID interaction. Combined use with alcohol amplifies mucosal injury by inhibiting protective prostaglandins. 8. Long-term consequences. Atrophic gastritis. Chronic inflammation leads to gland loss, reducing acid production and digestive function. Cancer risk. Persistent damage and metaplasia increase susceptibility to gastric adenocarcinoma. Symptoms and complications. Acute, epigastric pain, nausea, vomiting, potentially with blood. Chronic, nutrient malabsorption, anemia from bleeding ulcers, and heightened cancer risk. Conclusion. Excessive alcohol consumption initiates a cascade of damage, from mucosal erosion and acid imbalance to chronic inflammation and structural changes. Mitigating these effects requires limiting alcohol intake and addressing cofactors like H. pylori or NSAID use. Many thanks, Dr. Eric. Much appreciated.